6.2% of Americans 18 years or older suffer from a mental illness. That's according to the Kim Foundation. We're observing Mental Health Awareness Month by talking about the issue and how to create realistic solutions. And Miranda Nunez with River Edge Behavioral Health Center is here to help us understand more about those dealing with mental health issues. So thank you so much, Miranda, for joining us. Um, first question, I mean, how many people are impacted by mental health issues? So many. Thank you for having us. Um, one in four adults and children are affected by a mental illness. Um, so it's so important that we have this discussion, that we open up the community discussion um, and reduce the stigma associated with mental illness. Um, we have um, it's mental health, Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. So and we, green is the color. Green is the color, mm -hmm. so it's exciting. But 90% of people that die by suicide have a treatable mental health or substance abuse disorder. Um, and so it's so important that we get those resources out to them and that treatment is effective. And the first part is obviously talking about it, but what are some other ways to treat um, some of those that have mental health issues? It, it, mental health is a biological brain disorder and so uh, such as at River Edge, one of the treatment facilities, um, we have psychiatrists and nursing and licensed staff that are available mm -hmm. to treat this with um, whether it's with psychiatry staff, medications or individual group, family therapy, case management, uh, we have ACT treatment teams, we have a wide variety of different services that are available. And what are some ways to help someone fighting this disease? I mean, other than resources, I mean, what what are some things that we can do maybe to notice it? Maybe if you don't necessarily notice, because there's all levels of uh, mental health issues or mental health illnesses. So what are some things that we can do to start the conversation with them to intervene? Definitely. Um, recognizing warning signs. Um, if they are not doing things that um, that they normally did, to, that they found pleasurable before. So mm -hmm. if they used to go out and be with friends and or that they're late for work or not going to school, have those discussions with them. Just noticing character first. Yes, definitely. And um, encouraging them to uh, get that help and that treatment with them. And that's the first step is um, opening up those discussions and encouraging them to get that help. Now is there a hotline for our viewers out there that are looking at this program, maybe somewhere they can go to if they have an issue or if someone they know has an issue? Definitely. There's different. Um, there's the National um, Suicide Hotline that is 1-800-273-TALK. River Edge has a uh, phone number. It is 478-803-7600. And we also have um, our Milledgeville phone number, which is 478-451-2797. Uh, and then there is also our website that is uh, www.river-edge.org. That has a whole bunch of different resources on there. All right. Well, thank you so it. much, Miranda. Yeah. And we will post all Great. this information for you on our website. That's 41NBC.com. Stay with us.